What's going on, Internet? My name is Duke the Bump, and this is Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Um, this is uh, on Xbox Live Indie Games. And it's, I believe it's a dollar there. And it's also on Desera, the indie game download service. And I think it's $2.99, I forget. I got it a couple days ago. I haven't played this game a ton, but uh, the basic premise is you are in a wagon and uh, you are on a super amazing adventure. And uh, this game, uh, it's kind of like a cross between Oregon Trail, a crappy shmup for the Atari 2600, and like WarioWare or something. What's up in the chat room with Draconis and Kostya? How are you guys doing? Uh, I turned off the, uh, there's like a CRT screen effect that's on by default. Uh, what's up, Red Knight 30 and Super Gamer Dude 30? Uh, there's like a CRT effect on the screen, but I thought it was more annoying than, uh, than cool, so I just turned that off. So, uh, I've, I've only played a very little bit of this game. Uh, I, I decided to play it because I watched the, uh, the Giant Dawn Quick Look. Might want to turn the music down a tad, okay. Uh, let's see here. It's at 20%. So you can turn it down a little bit more. Some of it might be coming through the microphone as well, since uh, I'm not wearing headphones this time. That's way better. Okay, good. Alright, uh, and right off the bat, you don't have a ton of options, so I would just go ahead and start the adventure. This is the story. And the text all advances on its own, so if it goes by too fast, blame the game, don't blame me. Uh, what's up, Private Steve? There are options to uh, make the text go more slowly, but uh, really it doesn't matter. You're in a wagon, you're on a super amazing adventure, and this is my crew, uh, Andrew, Robert, and Daniel. Um, uh, I guess it's good enough. You can go in and edit your characters' names and stuff, but uh, 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 looks like a pretty solid team to me. So uh, these are the different wagons you can choose. All of them are grayed out except for the default uh, standard wagon, and you unlock the other wagons by doing various things. What's up, Nixil Umbreon? Welcome to the chat room. Oh, uh, let me sync up the chat room here. Um, wagons away. Enter. All right. Uh, thanks to Exergia for getting the uh, chat script back up. Um, many thanks for that. Uh, Alright, uh, so I will stick with the standard wagon since that's all we have access to right now. Day one, they set off into the forest. Uh, the basic controls, I, I changed it up a little. I'm using the keyboard, but I'm using the arrows to move instead of WASD. Just because using WASD and space to shoot is a little awkward. Uh, a little later on, you'll be on foot, so uh, the controls are a little different there. So uh, we're off. This is our wagon, and we're going to kill some animals to stock up on food. Much like uh, Oregon Trail, you have uh, random events through the course of the game, and uh, this is, uh, that was a, uh, a kill everything on the screen power up. I picked it up and, uh, and a plane came by and killed everything, and we have some bandits to deal with now. On the plus side, it is possible to, uh, whoa, it is possible to shoot their horses as well, and the horses are a source of food. Uh, there are different guns you can pick up. This is like a, uh, like a laser gun kind of thing. And, uh, this is where the whole WarioWare aspect comes in, because the random events do come very frantically, they come very suddenly, and, uh, a lot can happen to change the course of the game in just a few seconds. Right, Andrew left the wagon to look for berries in the wild, so this is the on-foot controls, and you can either, uh, it's basically a twin-stick shooter, you can use WASD and the arrow keys, I prefer to use the mouse in this game. So let's go around and gather up the berries. There's an entrance to a cave. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? It's very dark inside the cave. Filled with guns and ammunition. Ammunition, sweet. Wow, that is awesome. Return to the wagon with the guns. We reached a river crossing. 
So much like Oregon Trail, uh, you can, well, you have a couple different options. Here, our options are fording the river or jump over the river, and there are other options that come into play uh, later in the game. Um, I think I will try to jump. Well, they're saying jump in the chat room, so I will tr I will attempt to jump. You got a running start and leapt from the top of a ledge. They only made it halfway across the river. They landed in the middle of some rapids. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Damn. So yeah, as, as you can see, this game is very realistic. Um, very true to life in the late 1800s. Just going ahead and get past with something, something boulders. Oh, wow. This looks like a pain in the ass. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it would give me a break. Oh, damn it. Finally reached the other side of the river. Awesome. Entered into the Great Plains. Oh, yeah. I rock it. Sweet. Came across a large herd of buffalo. Now, well, luckily, my rocket launcher should make short work of the buffalo. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can pick them up for food because their bodies are, uh... <clears throat> There's not much left of them after I hit them with the rockets. Some angry buffalo charge the wagon. Damn. Oh shit. Uh, I'm out of rock. But I can pick them up for food now. Oh, next hit. Okay, good. Ooh, the bow. That's a good weapon. Front wheels of the wagon fell off. The wagon was stuck. Uh oh. This has never happened before. Andrew left the wagon. Oh, oh god. Oh shit. I had uh, Devoured by a hungry coyote. Okay. I kinda had to switch gears to get the mouse ready. Doesn't give you much time to switch gears in this game. Okay. Oh god. How did the wheels end up in a coyote then? Oh, wow, wow, that's a pretty good weapon. What is that, like a flamethrower? Second wheel rolled into a herd of buffalo. Oh god! Jesus. I'm glad I have this. Turn to the wagon and put the wheels back in place. Okay, good. Reach another river. This one was too deep to ford. Brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river, or you could go around through a desert path. path. Well, I think. Uh, what's up, Hyenator in the chat room? Uh, I think swimming sounds like a pretty good option. Let's, uh, let's see what happens there. Took a deep breath and then jumped in. But they face deadly piranhas. And piranha is also a pretty good source of food. Very full of nutrition. You know, they can, skele they can skeletonize a cow in like 30 seconds. So... They're good. They have many culinary uses. Oh god, angry narwhals. Luckily, these don't seem to be very aggressive piranhas. Isn't piranha one of those words that's supposed to be its own plural? Like, one piranha. No, oh, Daniel was eaten by a piranha. And Robert was eaten by a piranha as well. Okay, I got kind of sworn there. So yeah, this is the kind of game that uh, you play... Uh, it's random every time, so once you die, that's it. You don't save your game or anything. And uh, let's go ahead and give it another try. I'm not going to play a ton of this. Um, I just wanted to show it off here because it's a pretty cool game. And yeah, we didn't unlock anything or get any, any cool achievements or anything. Actually, I'm not really sure if there are achievements. It seems like the first uh, encounter is always coming across animals and shooting them for food. At least in my brief experience. And you don't want to pick up the skunks. Skunks, uh, they actually damage you. Okay, Posse of Bandits. So pretty similar to, uh, to the first playthrough so far. Nice. See, that's what I think of the Contra Spread Gun is. Machine Gun on Bandit. Okay, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty similar here. Yeah. 
Ow. And there are also, uh, random events where you can, like, get diseases and stuff, and it'll, it'll just randomly deal some damage to one of your wagon members. For wild berries, okay. I keep thinking my mouse cursor is an item. A bear one of the berries. Hmm. Do I have to fight the bear? Looks like I probably do have to fight the bear. That's a shame. It's pretty slow, I could probably just run away. Oh well. The bear's extended family heard the cry. That is a lot of bears. This bear has a big family. Oh god. You can upgrade your gun and stuff through the course of the game. One of the things uh, the animals do is you can trade animal pelts. You unlock hard to bear. Survival mode. Oh, cool. There are different survival modes in this game, which are basically just like endless, you know, survive for a certain amount of time. Kind of like uh, horde mode or something. Uh, let's see. I haven't tried fording yet, so let's see what that does. Ford. I made the probably wise decision to ford the river. There are boulders in the river. So yeah, looks like it ended up being about the same effect that jumping over it had earlier. This pattern's a little easier to get through. Oh, and that's this one again, okay. Alright, well, that oh, wasn't too bad, I guess. More buffalo? Damn. I mean, the buffalo aren't difficult to deal with, they're just a lot of them. Not a lot of margin of error here. More angry buffalo, okay. Wait, they make it sure it didn't seem to heal a lot. Or maybe I was damaged more than I thought I was. Pass for a civil war battle. Very, uh, very historically accurate here. Ooh. Damn. Probably shouldn't have gone after that gun, but I wanted it. Wow. Well, probably shouldn't have gotten myself involved in this. I like how I'm mowing down both sides indiscriminately, though. We're neutral here in Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. The world was lengthened and there was a great loss of life. Damn. We've grown fond of Julia during their travels. Aw, isn't that sweet? He went into the wagon to relax. That's nice. It wasn't all horror back then. He needed to relieve himself. Uh, do I have to? Uh... Oh god! The buffalo were so angry. Mmm, charred buffalo. Pain on the plane. Awesome. I love that voice sample too. Paul really hated Buffalo. Let's see, we can swim underwater or we can go around through a desert path. Well, I haven't, I haven't gone around yet. Let's see what that does. I entered into the desert. Day 72. Oh cool, my gun carries over to the wagon as well. They came across a fur trader. Yeah, here, here we go.
Oh, cool. Let's see, I can buy a med kit for 35, I can buy a gun for 38, I can buy a better gun for 28. Or, uh, actually, I, I don't know what different kinds of guns these are yet. Well, my middle dude's almost dead. I don't remember his name, sorry. So, it would probably be a good idea to uh, go for that. It's awfully expensive, though. Oh, and it only heals one heart? Wow, that sucks. Uh, Nixo Lumberdown says, Med Kit, Triple Shot, or Rocket Launcher. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'm done trading then. They avoided Venomous Snakes. Avoided, mowed down, you know, same difference. The man eating giant scorpions were even more deadly. Where are they? Oh god. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Afraid of running out of water, they traveled faster. Oh god. Oh cool, we got the machine gun. Just deserts. Nice. Actually, I guess that is just deserts. That is the correct spelling. Oh, nice. He was in quicksand. Oh, Jesus. The scorpion saw him as weak prey. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow, there wasn't a whole lot I could do there. Jesus Christ. Alright, just Julia left. Man, weapons all over the place. Pack of wolves smelled the blood. Yeah, I guess that is a shotgun. Sure looks like a shotgun. Howling good time. Julia came across another fur trader. Sweet. Huh. <sighs> Same stuff as before. Well, no, different guns. The mech gets more expensive. Damn, that sucks. Is it possible to get more party members to replace the seats ones? I don't know. I haven't come I haven't come across that yet. Uh well. Yeah, I should probably heal. The snowstorm began. The wolves were relentless even during the snowstorm. I feel like uh, Liam Neeson. And Julia was eaten by a wolf. Game's kind of tough. Alright, let's go one more. Well, one or two more. Then I'll do some binding of icing. Still haven't unlocked any new wagons. That looks like the, uh, the fighter jet that I summoned. Unlocked by jumping very high. Hmm. Wonder, wonder what these actually mean. Unlocked by magic. Unlocked by self-discovery. Unlocked by breaking the game. Nice. Unlocked by being one with nature. Unlocked by mystery. <laughs> Unlocked by getting breakfast. Mastering the sword. Time travel. Beating the game. Oh, okay. I wonder if these are just cosmetic differences or if they are actually more powerful than the default wagon.
So hunting, bandits, the the opening events at least seem to be the same or at least similar every time. I'm having a little difficulty seeing the projectile for some reason. Machine gun arm bandit. So yeah, same same pattern at least for the first few. I wish I got something for beating this guy. Oh cool, it's like a homing shot. I wish the berries at least added to my food count or something. And as it is, there's no reason to actually do this. Well, I mean, you get food from killing the bears, but... That's it. Not really worth the risk. There's no option to just not look for berries. They ate a very good meal of pigeon pie. Oh, cool. They're, they're resting. Jump or forward? Well, when I tried to forward it, it just gave me the boulders anyway. So let's at least see if there's a chance of jumping across it. Angry bees. And of course I can't shoot them because they're coming from behind me. Yeah, I can't really look at the chat or anything uh, while I'm playing this game, so sorry about that. It's a little too hectic. Purple fever. Well, that sucks. Poor Susan. And hopefully that helps a little bit with your purple fever. Purple fever. I like how this gun just disintegrates them. It does not even leave buffalo meat to pick up. I mean, I don't like that, but it's worth it for, uh, for greater attack power. Recovered from purple heat. Oh, cool. Oh, and she actually got health back. That's nice. There was a tornado. Wagon was picked up by the tornado. <laughs> nice. Along with some buffalo. Oh god. That's pretty fast. As as long as I just hold down the shoot button, I should be okay. Do a little bit of dodging. The wagon axle broke, the wagon was stuck. Hey, what, what happened with, to the tornado? Oh, she's actually traveling on foot now. Coyotes hounded her. No pun intended. Camp of sleeping travelers. Can I steal their shit? She was tempted to steal the supplies. Steal or don't? Hmm, what do you think, chat? Should I steal or should I leave it alone? Got one vote for steal, one for don't steal. Four for steal. Steal it, steal it, okay. Susan decided to steal the supplies. Well, that worked out. <laughs> wow. Life sucked on the... on the plane. This is definitely helpful against these coyotes though. I'm glad I stole it. Great planes are huge.
So lesson learned, stealing is awesome. I'm sure there's a chance of something bad happening though. They ate a nice meal with snake. Super amazing wagon adventure, snake eater. Uh, well, let's see. Swimming seemed okay last time. I'll, tr I'll try that. These piranha, piranhas aren't bad. As long as there's not way more of them than I can handle. And they're a good source of food. Food slash animal skins. Nice. Aw, I was about to get a health kit. It's one thing that kind of sucks. One thing suddenly, well, I got one anyway, so I guess I can't complain too much. <laughs> Fighting fish, oh, sweet. A giant squid blocker pal. Oh, oh god. Glad I had the rocket launcher. Notice a treasure chest. She swam far from the wagon to investigate. Hell yeah, I'm opening the chest. A laser cannon. Nice. They threw out their old pistol. Oh, it replaces my pistol? Sweet. They entered a mountain pass. Food supplies were dwindling. Uh, the laser pistol seems to give me a larger shot, so that should come, come in handy. This seemed to fire a little slowly though. Uh, I guess that's not good for hunting. It is good for killing coyotes though, well, in theory. Oh cool, it like splits when it hits people as well. That is very cool. Oh, Jesus. Trade the manure faster shooting pistol for 99 animal eyes. Hmm. I think that would re replace my laser pistol. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Nixon Lumberon says don't. Moore's Draconis says don't. Red930 says Duke is kicking ass and chewing bubblegum. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it. I like my laser. Avalanche. Oh god. I don't think this is this is not how avalanches work. <laughs> the avalanche got worse. Great. Navigated around the debris, strewn about the mountain pass. Oh, I guess I just have to d avoid this stuff. Aw, oh, man! Stupid hitbox. <laughs> Afraid the wolves would return, they traveled faster. Logic! I have a, uh, an airstrike ready to call in. Pretty cool. Whew. Saved by the bell. They accidentally drove off a cliff. <laughs> oh god, why did I do that? Some eagles attacked the wagon. Oh, well, you know, eagles are sneaky birds. Damn it. So, yeah, this thing fires slowly, but the split effect is really cool. Landed in a river. The wagon now a raft was carried down the river by the currents. Sweet. Grab a shotgun there. Damn it.
Oh man. That was a pretty sh- Fuck! Susan was knocked into the river by a collision with a boulder. Damn it! It's hard to dodge. For some reason, there are a bunch of alligators in the river. And there's boulders as well. Oh shit! An alligator ate Rebecca! Oh man, everything's going wrong. And this gun is not helpful against alligators. Ah, damn it. Game over. All right, well, let's go one more. Still haven't unlocked any wagons. Only thing I've unlocked so far are a few survival moves. Came down with pneumonia already. Damn it, Hannah! You're bringing down this whole operation. And I hit a skunk. I mean, I, I didn't need to use an airstrike there, but hell, I might as well. There are a lot of squirrels. Well, at least the squirrels thing is new. Nice change of pace. I mean, there's no reason not to use the airstrike. It's not like I can hold on to it and keep using my gun until I need it. Oh god. I am not doing quite as well this game. Oh, she recovered. Nice. And left look for wild berries. <sighs> Man, nothing good ever comes from this. Yeah, yeah, family of bears. Oh no, a swarm of rabid squirrel. <laughs> okay. Aw, I didn't have a chance to pick up all that food. Oh well. Jumper forward. Well, last time I jumped. Nothing really came of it. Let's try 40 again. There are boulders in the river. Of course. Someone said I can shoot the boulders. I can, but they don't die in one hit, so not much point in doing that. Unless it's just the same boulders repeating over and over again. It might be worth it to try to take them out, but no, it doesn't look like that's the case. Graphics are just being a little bit jittery. I think I have the window too high. It's in like 1280 by 7 something. Or 1280 by 900 or something like that. Probably should have toned it down a bit. Oh wow. This pattern sucks. I wish my computer was good enough to stream in really high quality with no graphics lag or anything. One thing that kind of interests me about the, the Steam box, they're, uh, they're saying that Valve is looking towards, uh, like kind of a local on live sort of thing, where you stream game from the Steam box to your television, or from your computer to the Steam box, and then your Steam box is, uh, is attached to the TV. And that doesn't do me any good, since my computer just is, my, my TV is my monitor. But what it might be cool for is, instead of streaming to a television, you could stream it to a video capture device. So I could do that instead of, uh... Coyotes wanted to eat the Android Falcon. Oh, nice. So I could do that, and it... Ah, uh, Hungry Coyote ate him not alive. Damn it. No 
woman in a red dress. Hmm. Oh god. It was a bandit in disguise. Well, of course it was. It was a bandit ambush. Oh, Jesus. Aw, oh, man, they're on horses, too? I am hope hopelessly outnumbered here. At least I have a shotgun. Ah! And died when a bullet struck her directly in the eye. Too deep to ford. Swim or go around? Well, let's try the desert path this time. But, but yeah, the steam box might be a cool, uh, cool way to do that with a PC. Because if I just had a video capture device, it would be good for capturing like console video, but just it wouldn't be any good for a PC by itself. Since I would like have to use a video card to both display and <sighs> damn scorpions to both display and uh, and capture. Well, not capture, but you know, my video card would be doing double duty basically if I wanted to see uh, see what was happening. So yeah, if they release a Steam box cheap enough, that might be a cool a cool use for it. Nice. And <laughs> a giant anthill of giant ants. Oh, oh nice. Awesome. Well, at least they're all lined up for me. That's nice of them. Okay, ants. That's enough. Then <laughs> the ant queen arrived. Awesome. Oh god. He ran back to the wagon. Good idea. I am amazed Robert is still somehow alive. The wolves are kind of like the scorpions, but they're more relentless. Robert was killed by a wolf. Game over. Eh, let's do one more. I'll go at least, uh, at least until 8 with this game, I guess. I'll stream it for about an hour. Although I started a little bit later than I intended to. I was messing around with this program called FFSplit, which is like a free open source version of what I use, XSplit. And uh, it looks pretty promising. It looks like uh, they should make a good free replacement for XSplit. I mean, XSplit is free. Um, the program's free. But unless you pay the, f the license fee, the audio quality is just awful. It's like fifteen dollars for three months or something like something like that. So like five bucks a month basically. So yeah, uh, FS split might require just a little bit, a uh, little bit of finagling to work with, uh, to work with Twitch. But it looks like it might be a good alternative to spending that license fee. I don't know what kind of gun this is. The seeking gun. Some kind of sniper rifle or something. I like it though. But yeah, I was messing around with FF Split, which is why it was a little late. I'm just using XSplit for this stream, since I didn't want to take the time to set up FF Split. But it looks promising. Guns and ammo. Sweet. And so far these caves have been very, uh, very worth it. Jumper forward. Uh, let's try jumping again. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the bee's nest. That's what happened last time. Okay, well, this isn't that hard to deal with. Of course, they say that, and it'll probably redouble its efforts. Nope. Uneventful bee swarm. Large herd of buffalo. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Yeah, that's a, a legitimate sentence in the English language. It means bison from the city of Buffalo, bully bison, which are also bullied by bison from the city of Buffalo. That's what, like eight, eight buffaloes in a row? Is a valid sentence. God, these things are fast. Oh god. Sweet, fur trader. Uh, what's up? Pokes them 420. Hmm. I can buy three med kits. I wish I could get a permanent upgrade instead of just temporary ammo this way. Probably be better to go for health, actually. I'll play it safe. Done trading. All of the recreational buffalo shooting started a fire. <laughs> Hurried to escape the fire. Ah, so close. Woman in a red dress walking alone. Man, I don't want to fall for this shit again. It was a bandit in disguise. It was a bandit ambush. Wow. Couldn't see that coming at all. Damn it! Those ambushes are tough. Good meal is squirrel kebab. Uh, same options. Go around or swim. Let's swim. See if I can get a giant squid again. That thing was pretty cool. Face deadly piranhas. Actually, the piranhas seem like the least deadly thing so far. I don't know. Make it down there that I don't need at the moment. Because it can't bring people back from the dead. Poison a jellyfish, huh? That's new. Oh, apparently the jellyfish are good to eat. They're only poisonous while alive. Or PWA, as uh, as it's called on the street. Oh! Wow, there is a giant squid. I shouldn't have said anything. What the hell is it shooting at me? Eight balls? Oh, I guess I have to specifically aim at the tentacles. Another treasure chest? Nice. I mean, I'm never going to not open the treasure chest. Dinosaur eggs. Hmm. They threw out their old pistol. Is that a weapon? What the? 
<laughs> I'm just throwing dinosaur eggs at things, apparently. Wow, that's awesome! I am summoning pterodactyls to kill deer and squirrels. That's the best weapon in the game. Of course. <laughs> it, uh... Okay, maybe it's not the best weapon in the game. It would be if you didn't actually have to hit something with the eggs to summon the dinosaur. <laughs> Kevin was eaten by a wolf. Oh god. Came across a fur trader. Nice. I have unlimited dinosaur eggs. What you got? A newer, faster shooting pistol. And you always offer this to me when I have an upgraded weapon. I'm not gonna do it. I wanna stick with the dinosaur eggs. Probably not a great idea. But it's just too cool to give up. I like barely survived that boulder. Man, how come the wolves aren't being crushed by boulders? That's not fair. Ah, damn it. Those wolves, man. They're bad news. Alright, one more. I know I've said that like six times now. But you know, it's that kind of game. It's the, uh, just one more, just one more playthrough, man. Mitchell Lumberon asks if anyone's played Super Hexagon. Speaking of Super Hexagon, I, uh, I finally beat the one I was trying to on the stream, Hexagon Earth. And uh, my best score in, in Hexagonist so far is about like, 20 seconds or something. Maybe not even that. Good game. Man 8 finally made it to a stream. What's going on? Alright, just for Monkey Man 8, one more playthrough. Time for dinner. Oh, so you're not gonna watch Super Amazing Wagon Adventure? That's way more important than dinner. Alright, I know what the problem is here. I'm not putting myself in the wagon. I can't expect them to, uh, to manage without Duke in the wagon. Uh, Duke had... Sweet Shades. That's what I have. And Virginia and Nicole Rumble. Okay. Pioneer, may, may I be on your wagon? Oh, I forgot. I should have done that. I, sh I should have done what I did in Oregon Trail and had chat members in the wagon with me. Oh well. There weren't that many people in the chat room when I started, so it didn't really occur to me. We're gonna turn out tonight, then. Thanks, everyone, who made it. You've made this dream even more super amazing. Whoa! A unicorn. They seem to be leading them somewhere. On the other hand, they needed all the meat they could get. I want to follow it. I'm not gonna shoot a unicorn. Even if it is worth a thousand food. It was a unicorn ambush! Oh, no! Why would the unicorns do this? Man, I feel terrible about this. Unicorns are already an endangered species. And then a dragon attacked them. Because why not? Wow. I'm glad I came here. Moral of this story, never follow a fucking unicorn. I guess. Jesus. 
Oh, cool. I unlocked the fantasy. Well, okay. I'm glad I did that in that case. Why am I looking for berries? Can one of these clowns do it? And the family bears. Damn it. I think it was hard to take down. We reached a river crest. Jumper forward. Now let's try fording and see if anything different actually happens this time. Nope, oh, same old boulders. I might be able to actually destroy these if I had a better weapon. Because they, they do seem to be taking damage. Ooh, a pirate ship. Oh god. I thought maybe they were friendly pirates. But, aw, I don't even get anything from fighting the pirate ship. That's slightly disappointing. <laughs> what, what did that say? Splattered right? That sounds horrible. Ah, uh, bison gourd Virginia in the stomach. Well, at least it wasn't me. Angry Buffalo. Damn it! Huh? Well, just me. Luckily, I have my cool shades. Everything should be fine. Um. Uh, yeah, health. And I still have some, so why not? I'll buy the, uh, the three shots. Oh, I can actually... Well, yeah, that makes sense. Sure, I'll buy a couple more. There's a tornado. Oh, good. More buffalo. Glad I bought this three shot thing now. Thought about the companions he's lost so far during the journey. Oh god, they're zombies? No! Oh. Oh, same for versus zombies. Oh man, that means I lose all that stuff I bought though. That sucks. I had significantly more ammo for that than the flamethrower. It seemed this disease had also spread to animals. What if I can eat the zombie animals? Nope. Oh fuck yes, airstrike. Of course there were only a couple zombies left at that point. Swim or desert path? Well, let's try the path. An experienced traveler named Hannah. Oh, cool! In exchange for 53 animal highs, unfortunately, he didn't have enough. Damn it! So, yeah, you can get new party members. That's pretty cool. Which I had enough. If I had known that, maybe I wouldn't have spent all my money. Ah! Complications related to a snake bite. Damn it. Game over. 
All right, that's been super amazing wagon adventure. Uh, hold tight, and I will fire up the Binding of Isaac, and uh, we will do that again. It's always fun. Duke should play Crimson Land. Never heard of it. Um, explain what it's about, and I might give it a shot. Oh, cool, I can see my mouse cursor. Hi, mouse cursor. All right, be back in a moment.